Good morning everyone, welcome back. 14 degrees outside here in the carport. We had about uh, 9 degrees tonight. And just want to check on the battery and see how cold it is. 16. Ooh, that is cold. So we should have a massive, massive region limit now. I really turn on the seat heater now. It's so cold in here. <laughs> wow. First time ever I'm using this one. <laughs> um, so yeah, 16 degrees battery temperature. Uh, I can't see any region. Ah, oh, we need to drive, I think. Okay, let me start driving. Oh, look at the limit here. That's a lot. Yeah, 36 kilowatts. That says it. That's our region limit. Wow. That's a cold battery, right? Well, the car was sitting here in the carport for two days now, and we had this strong cold wind for the last couple of days. No, no, no frost. No frost in the night here. We don't get any frost here in this area. Okay, let's go for a drive to work and see how the battery warms up on the highway. Even the motor is only 15 degrees, which is exactly what is outside. So, 61% we are. Uh, have a look at the battery current. They are 1.2, 1.1, 1 1.2 amps at the moment. I've got the seat heater off. So if I turn on the seat heater on three, you can see it's going up to 1.4, 1.5. That's how much power one seat uses. So basically nothing. <laughs> that is nothing. 1.3. So if I turn this back to one, so seat heater is on one now. Um, it's almost nothing. Back on three. So it's point, point 0.2 of an amp for one seat. That's great. Yeah, so as far as I know, the Model 3 has no battery heater built in like the other uh, Tesla cars like the Model S and Model X which have an electric battery heater it's like a PTC heater element inside the battery which um, heats up the battery in extreme colds but I don't think the Model 3 has it what they have done in the Model 3 is um, putting this five valve five way valve inside which diverts the hot water or warm water from the motor to back to the battery and that's what we can see here we've got a 20 degrees now in the in the motor and the battery inlet is on 17.5 so it uses the the warmer water from the motor to heat up the battery okay so we are now driving on the highway and you can see the motor has already warmed up to 22 degrees now and 18 degrees warm water goes into the battery region limit has increased to 37.4 so it's increasing constantly very slowly again one degree more in the motor two degrees more in the motor heats up quickly we're using 12 kilowatts at the moment in the motor so that's the uh, that's the power going into the motor Ooh, what just comes up here show tire pressure ah 37 psi 37 38 38 the cold the cold air is causing this So, and the region limit has now increased to 41.7 kilowatts. So, I cannot feel any difference to a normal, um, to what it is normally, like 60, uh, like, well, usually it's about 75, 80, 82 kilowatts if the battery is warm enough. It's not like the car is not braking that good anymore or something. Well, you can, you can really not feel it. Fuel price is still under one dollar here, 97.8. That's actually expensive. I've seen 85.9 per liter of fuel. All right, so we are almost at work. So the motor has warmed up to 27 degrees 
and battery inlet is almost 20 so it's still <laughs> trying to warm up the battery but it's not enough heat from the motor so i have now arrived at work after 15 kilometers traveled and battery has warmed up to 18.8 .8, so only two and a half degrees or 2.8 Region power has increased to 46. Yeah, I find this very fascinating to watch these numbers while driving and see how desperately the car tries to heat up the battery to get rid of this region limit to get the battery into an optimal temperature level. And because we don't create so much heat in the in the motor, it's 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 not it's not doing it. It takes a long time to actually warm up the battery again now. Um, I will be here for about two hours or so, so let's see how the numbers and figures compare then. All right guys, two and a half hours later I'm back in the car. And guess what, I put the both mobile phones next to each other. This is the status we had before when we left the car. And this is the one right now. So as you can see, look at the state of charge. It has increased by 1% from 56 to 57 that is insane right <laughs> just because the battery has warmed up uh, battery voltage slowly went down sentry mode was enabled all the all the time so the car stayed awake but still state of charge has increased because the battery has warmed up by five degrees just parking the car here outside in the sun and this was the main this was one of the main concerns with the phev all the time because you, you gained or you lost these four or five kilometers while parking. And this was like 10, 15% for the car. It made a huge difference in EV range for the PHEV. But here in the test lander, in, in any other electric vehicle, you just don't care really about it. But um, it's interesting to see, right? And also have a look at the region limit we had, 46 before, and now we've got 58, just by warming up the battery by five degrees. And the car actually doesn't show any limit anymore. Not sure if we start driving, if we can see a limit. No, we cannot. So there's no limit anymore. Well, I'm sure it comes back once I start driving and actually regen. But for the moment, well, 60 kilowatt regen, far, far, far enough. So yeah, just to be clear, there is still a limit on the regen. Even it shows 60.5 kilowatts now we can regen potentially theoretically but the um, if the battery would be warm enough so say over 30 degrees which is the normal temperature for these cells the region the region power limit would show about 80 82 kilowatts so we don't have any limitation here on the display anymore so even if you say I don't have a power limit you still have but it's not visible on the screen anymore because Tesla probably says, okay, if you get 60 kilowatt on region power, that's enough, boy, that's enough. You don't need the full 80 or 82 kilowatts. 60 is totally enough. That is basically no limit anymore, so. Ah, we just had the power limit back. You could see it while I was regening. So I'm going to leave the highway now, I'm still driving 100 and I do a full region right now. Yep, there it is, you can see the dotted line, but it's only visible while you do the region. And this is something weird too I've discovered here with the region limit, see we've got 65% now, but if I do a region now, see it goes down to 60. 56 only and then when you accelerate again it goes up again 65 I don't know why it does that it's probably part of the part of the calculation it does you know to determine the limit of the region I don't know I need to do it um, test this again with a warm battery and see if this still happens Okay, we do this again, full region, see how it goes down, 55, 
and then accelerating again it goes up to 66 and now regening again yeah, it goes down to uh, 58 huh that's interesting all right guys so nice little drive to work today so we are, came to 26.5 with just a little bit of regen limit left after two and a half hours parking in the sun and driving driving 31 kilometers four kilowatt hours burned that's not much yeah, so the car is so efficient, it doesn't generate enough heat to warm up the battery in this short amount of time. We gained far more temperature in the battery while parking than during driving. <laughs> all right, so far this little experiment again with a cold battery. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for coming with me to this trip. And this is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and safe and we will see us again tomorrow in the next video. See you then. Bye bye.